Be right, guys. Uh, Sunday, 7th of February, Super Bowl Sunday. Um, because of that, I was really hoping to do some KC inspired burnt ends today. Um, to, I guess, commemoration of the fact that Kansas City Chiefs have made the Super Bowl for the second year running. That seemed like a nice little link. But the weather is shocking, to be honest with you. I've also been sidetracked by some Neapolitan bread flour, and that cooks in those pizzas I've been doing cook in 60 seconds rather than. Uh, 12 hours so I thought I'd go with um, Peter tonight instead I'm afraid um, but wanted to come back to you with another video so we're going with uh, part two in the bite size series know your fuel so for that let's get our coats on let's head outside and have a look so when it comes to um, fuel biggest commercial smokers and like competition barbecue smokers are generally just going to be using full logs of wood both for the heat source and, and for the and for the smoke um, backyard barbecues like myself generally going to be using charcoal for the heat source and then either wood chunks or wood chips for the for the smoke um, when it comes to charcoal generally two types so lump wood and briquettes I generally use lump wood so let's go over to the shed and take a look so lump wood made from charring um, logs of wood large pieces of wood that's a pure pure heat source um, whereas you get briquettes as well, um, they're a bit of a composite, so combination of um, wood, coal, um, some accelerants as well. Lump wood does turn to burn a little bit cleaner because it is the pure, it is the pure, um, pure source. Um, just burn a little bit, a little bit quicker as well. Um, whereas briquettes more uniform, more consistent. So you do get a longer burn time, a more consistent burn out of them as well. But because of those accelerants in there, you do get a slightly more acrid taste at the start. Um, well, a, a bit of like an acrid smell in the smoke. I personally prefer lump wood, so I'm using, i um, seen this in some of my other um, videos. So Big K um, restaurant grade, the bigger the better really, because the bigger pieces of lump wood that you can get, then you do get a slightly longer burn time out of those. Reason I prefer lump wood is mainly because you can never get enough fuel that's going to last for a full sort of like 10, 12, 14 hour cook. So if you use, if you use lump wood, you can refuel halfway through and you don't need to worry about um, that acrid taste coming through. Or like we were showing you before with the minion method, when you're putting unlit on top of lit, what we don't want is just any of that acrid taste coming through from those accelerants. So it's for that reason, I generally prefer using lump. So your charcoal is going to be providing you with your heat source, but you need to go to wood, um, pieces of wood to actually give you that smoke flavour. So when it comes to um, food smoking, logs of wood, that's like I said, that's going to be your big competition or more commercial smokers. You can also get wood pellets for pellet grills or sawdust, some of those smaller chips, more, more used for indoor smoking or cold smoking. The likes of us, though, what we're normally going to be using. I mean, I do have some logs down there if you want to come and have a bit of a look. So a few logs that you can just cut up more into chunk sizes chunks as well and then also chips to be honest with you i tend not to use logs too much um it's just easier it's just easier to deal with the chunks occasionally just break those up a little bit smaller um and then the chips as well both of these are pretty easy to come by um main difference really is that there's a little bit more of a need to, to soak the chips just because you don't want to be putting them on because they're quite small they just set fire straight away so give them a bit of a soak before they go on whereas the wood chunks you can just get them on um get them on from the from the start and not worry about it too much as the chunks are a little bit bigger also produce smoke for a little bit little bit longer so you probably only need to be putting chunks on about every hour hour and a half whereas chips you're probably having to put them on about every every half hour 45 minutes um if you want to know more about the different types of wood, then my Memphis vlog, I was talking you through my different my different wood types, and that was just talking about some of the flavor profiles of those. The different um, types of wood generally do give slightly different um, flavors and colors of smoke. The main real thing that you need to be thinking about though, is just make sure that you're imparting that, imparting that smoke flavor into the meat. That's the main thing that I worry about rather than the type of wood too much. All, all of these are hardwood, generally the forest woods or um, orchard woods. Main thing you want to be staying clear of though are those more sort of like soft woods, so the likes of pine and, and anything that sort of like retains its, its greenery over winter. That can just be a little bit too acrid and a little bit too oily, so best to steer clear of those. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Just going to close out the little, little, little um, barbecue theme, Billy Joel inspired, know your wood reminder. Hope you enjoy the song. One, two, one, two, three, four, lunch.
Clumps of pecan mulberry, apricot or cherry, walnut, maple, hickory, whiskey barrel chips. Orchard wood for those who care, apple, orange, peach or pear, older beach and mesquite or cinnamon sticks. Aromatic spicy, fully flavoured citrusy, Texas, the Middle West or Deep South smoke. Split logs or leave them whole, put that wood on the coal. Last thing you need to know is post stokes, no joke. We've got a light of fire. Let's use charcoal briquettes, lump with gas or pellets. We've got a light of fire. Use a chimney starter and the flames come after. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.